Who's there? Number three. Pass. there. Number 11. They're waiting for you. for Jesus' sake. Amen. It's the night lighters. Get outside with the baby. I'll try and check the fire. Qu'est-ce qu'ils ont 
Come on, there's trouble ahead. Come on. Somebody make the shoot. Come on. Out of here. Run away. It's Lopez. There's no use following Brown now. He's got too much of a head start. Come on. Thank you, senor. Senor, I am Don Roberto Lopez from El Rio Rancho, and this is my daughter, Rosita. We are very much in your debt. Oh, shucks. That was nothing. Folks call me Montana. And this funny-looking galoot is my partner, Pancho Gonzalez, and the worst cavalier from all Mexico. Mucho gusto, amigo. Ah, uh, si, señor. Mire que bien se escapó. Ah, por, por poco se no. estrella con esos caballos. Por poco se estrella con esos caballos. I better drive the team back to town for you, Miss Rosita. They're kind of excited. Your dad can ride my horse. Gracias, amigo. Papá? Fíjate los caballos que yo voy a ir en el coche con el señor. Sí, 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 sí. Los caballos están muy excitados. No, no, si está muy bueno, mi compañero lo usa todo el tiempo. Eso no debe de preocuparlo por eso. Bueno, anda, vamos, adelante. Bueno, señor, cuidado, a ver. Este caballo es manso, súbalo. Síguenos, papá. Ah, eso es muy bien. Señor López, para que no le pase a usted otra vez lo que le acaba de pasar, nos debía de ocupar a nosotros para usted. No. ¿Qué, qué? ¿Que no nos ocupa a nosotros? Mire que nosotros somos los mejores vaqueros que hay en el mundo. ¿Debería usted darnos trabajo? No. No. Yo le garantizo a usted que si usted nos ocupa a nosotros, usted tiene, tiene el rancho más bonito que puede haber aquí en estos eh, contornos. Nos da trabajo, le trabajamos por nada. Bueno. Muy bien. Así creía yo. Bueno, entonces ahora vamos, adelante. I'm sorry about you getting burnt out last night, Kelly. But if you want to build again, I'll... I'll let you have the money. I already owe you more than I can pay. Anyway, what's the use? Build another shack. It'd only burn us out again. And if the wolves raided us again, it might be worse. Murder means nothing to them. Well, I... I hardly know what to say, folks. If there's anything I can do, though, I... Uh... You've been a real friend to us, Cash. But we're leaving here today. Our homestead's proven up and clear, and we want you to take it and pay for what we owe you. Oh, forget it, Kelly. Maybe you'll want to come back again someday. I ain't worrying none about you not paying me sometime. Cash, the Kelly family ain't never coming back to this part of the country. Give me a pen. How's the little girl, Miss Kelly? Well, she's fine, thanks. 
Well, that's good, anyhow. You do. Uh, say, you'll need some supplies for your trip. Uh, just pick out what you want. Thanks, Kay. They fix the folks up here with whatever they want. I'll have a sack of flour. Some ham. to see you. Come with that, Senor Hopkins. I have come to town to have a little talk with you. Sure, come on in the store. I'm sorry about causing your horses to run away, Don Roberto. <laughs> Senor Buck, I should thank you. If my horses are not run away, I would not meet my friend Montana and his friend uh, Pancho Gonzalez, the worst caballero from all Mexico. <laughs> You looking for a chance to use them guns, Montana? Maybe. Why? I was just wondering. I'm Buck Daggett, foreman for the Lazy Y, and I could use a man of your reputation pretty handy. Senor, next to the great Pancho Gonzalez, Montana, she is the worst caballero along the whole borderland. Well, what about Poncho? You got a job for him, too? Pretty old, ain't he? According to my way of thinking, that's a pretty good reputation for a two-gun man. You're right. And the salary will be a hundred a month for the each of you. I wish you wouldn't do this, Don Roberto. You're ruining your range. What else can I do? I cannot continue to borrow the money and not pay it back. Why do you tell Senor Daggett we would work for him? Isn't a hundred dollars a month worthwhile? But I have hired us out to Don Roberto. You done what? See, I fix the whole thing up when we run to the town. You know, uh, he's been in mucho trouble lately. He lose plenty cows. This senorita Rosita is a very beautiful senorita, don't you think so, amigo? I know she would feel very, very bad if she find out you would not work for her father. Poncho, you win. Let's go break the news today. Isn't that it, Rob? Every few days you lose some cattle to the rustlers and, well, you're practically giving your ranch away a little bit at a time. Of course, I know I'm benefiting by your bad luck, but that ain't to my liking. You ought to be able to work this thing out in some different way. Yeah, that's all. Fellas, shake hands with Montana and Poncho. A couple of new hands are just hard. Sorry, boys, but Poncho promised Don Roberta we'd work for him. You're not turning me down now, Montana. Not after I hired you. Well, you made us an offer, but we ain't taken. What do you have, big boy? You gonna let him get away with it? Not so as you could notice it. Wait a minute. What do you got? Pork and beans. Beans and pork. Pork without beans. Beans without... How about some pork and beans? See. Okay. With frijoles for what you call the dessert. Molly, come here. I'm sorry, Buck. I'm waiting on me too just now. You're waiting on me, Sally. After us, you come first, my friend. No? Listen, Molly. Don't make a mistake and start shining up to this Montana, hombre. You get me? Buck, you're hurting me. 
Listen, Daggett, that ain't no way to treat a lady. You wouldn't use a gun, would you? I thought this was a little friendly argument. Come on, Poncho, we're riding. We will report to you at the El Rio Rancho, senor. Come on. Hey, why don't you open your hand? I can't, I'm much too mad. Them two cyclones are gonna work for you? You hear what the Senor Montana say? And I don't think he is one to make the joke with. No? And besides, the great Pancho Gonzalez has agreed to teach my vaqueros to shoot with a 2-6 gun. Pronto. Pues Señor, me caí que arriba. Ande. Venga acá. Venga acá pronto. Ande. Señores, I am ashamed with you. To be a good gunfighter, you must learn to shoot straight while being shot at. Vamos, get your pistolas. Pronto, venga. Ahora verán cómo allí les doy, yo les voy a enseñar a ustedes. Pónganse ahí en la pared. Uno y luego otro. ¡Sabe! ¡Sabe mi horse! I'm heading for town. Muy bien, señor Barnett. Now remove the bullets from the gun. I'm going to show you how to drop quick and shoot straight. Listen down, Roberta. I ain't stuck on all this gun throwing and shooting around here. I hope the rustlers who have steal our cattle will feel the same way. Ah, it's a lot of nonsense. As manager of the El Rio Rancho, I... Well, do as I say, Senor Barnes. But both of these gun parties you hired got bad reputations. And it ain't doing us no good to have them around. The Blues have a very bad reputation too, senor. No? Yeah, but we don't know who the wolves are. But we do know a lot about Montana and his pal Poncho. That is why I hire them, amigo. 
Where is this Senor Montana? I have not seen him this morning. He and Steve, the foreman, rode down to the lower range. Sometimes I mistrust these sex darkness, Padre mio. Professor, how's the class? Very, very good. You should not be discouraged, amigos. Senor Montana was what you call uh, terrible with a six gun before I teach him to know better. Now, amigo mio, show my compadres what my teaching has do for you. I'll do it. Ah, uh, está bueno. Ahora verán este. from this what you call William Tell, no? I'm sorry, miss. I was only trying to encourage the boys by showing them how Poncho learnt me the two-gun trade. And you call this a trade? This business of carrying the two pistolas? Well, we've got to make a living somehow. But could you not do something else? Once you start packing two guns, it's hard to get rid of them. But, Senor Montana, what is this two-gun trade going to lead to? Two gun men can't worry none about that. Why, Flavre done study their hands. All gunfighters are not really bad, Miss Rosita. Them that live a long time generally become marshals or sheriffs with a nice little home, maybe a wife and some little kids, you know. Uh, I, I better get back to work. Never aim when you shoot with a pistola, Tony. Just point the gun like the finger. This way. Sorry? Is it not very simple, amigo? See? Now you go to the wall, and when I start to shoot at you, you point the pistol at me and pull the trigger. But Don Pancho... Don't argue with me. Do what I told you. But I am very much afraid. Uh, give the great Pancho Gonzalez one big neck pain. To the wall, and I want to teach it by you. You know what? Please, my friend, I want to Caramba! I will shoot you. Santa Maria! Hey, hey, wait, wait! Ahora sí. No pasaba más que. Didn't I tell you to unload the pistola? But I was trying to tell you, senor, that my big six shooter was she was loaded. Nah. Well, I will forgive you this time. But take from this a big lesson. Si, sí, gracias, senor. Gracias. <clears throat> <clears throat> She's a mighty sweet girl, dynamite. But I don't suppose she'd have any use for a two-gun toter after what she said. <laughs> I think you kind of like this, Senorita Rosita, no? Well, uh, <laughs> I kind of like her myself, amigo. Just wait till she find out how the great Pancho Gonzalez can make the love. Uh, what a love maker I am! Oh,
Coffee. Lane's barn burned down last night, accidental life, but everybody was away from home. He lost most all of his horses in the fire. They don't suspect you, do they? Nope. He thinks I'm his most loyal hand. He figures the cattlemen done it. Maybe they did. We'll have Blaine pulling stakes, Pope Pronto. He ain't got any too much nerve anyhow. What about Brown? We ain't bothered him none since he got away from us the other day. And if he starts talking again... Brown knows too much for his own good. We better see what can be done. Howdy, Tex. What brings you to town? Thought I'd tip you off at a couple of stray gun toters hired out to old Don Roberti yesterday. And they're plenty tough, too, if you ask me. I know all about them. <laughs> What'd you do, have a run-in with them? No, just a little friendly argument. <laughs> It must have been. Listen, Tex, them two hombres is plenty bad, especially this Montana. We got to get rid of him before he messes our plans all up. Suits me, boss. By the way, Tex, Don Robert is moving a bunch of shorthorns through Boulder Canyon tomorrow night. How'd you know? That's the first I've heard anything about it, and I'm the old man's manager. I have a way of learning a lot of things. Pancho, you know our wedding. Maybe both. Quien sabe? Did I not told you that Pancho Gonzalez is the greatest lover from all Mexico? No. Señorita Rosita don't know how lucky she is that I'm at the rancho. Pancho, you're not serious about this, are you? Serious? Amigo, you now gaze upon the future husband of the sweet Rosita. She has just returned from church. And Sunday is the one day for to make the love. Bueno, deseame suerte. It's impossible, senorita. Why is it, senorita, that everybody misjudged the poor two gunmen? 
Of course, we don't live as long as any other kind of caballeros. But while we are alive, we make just as good a husband. Maybe better. Perhaps you are right, Pancho. Do you know any two gun men wish to get married? Senorita? It is for this great Pancho Gonzalez that I am speaking. <laughs> Senor, you wish to make the proposal with me? Si. Are you not honored? <laughs> you think I make the jokers with you? <laughs> Perhaps uh, you was interested in this Montana. Perhaps. I think I better told you about this Montana hombre. He is the worst heartbreaker in the whole borderland. Many, many times has my compadre Montana get married. And not once have he think to get what you call uh, the divorce. Why, in the town of Juarez, he leave behind the most beautiful wife and six kids. I don't believe you. to get away from here. You're in danger. Why? See that? What I told you. Well, you must get out. If the dog bag is going to kill you. Maybe they will. And again, maybe they won't. I came to one... I reckon time. I can take care of myself, miss. Thanks, anyway. But... What's the matter, Romeo? Did you get turned down? Uh, I just find out from the senorita that she loves you very, very much. You mean it? Hey. Listen, Pancho, I won't forget this. No. I don't think you will. Nice day, isn't it? You think so? Como esta tu papá la cosa, cosa la caballa? How is my father and the other horses? Uh, Miss Rosita, you know, uh, uh, Ever since the first time I ever met you, I, I... Yes, I think I understand. But if you want to make me love, you go back to your wife and six kids in his body. Your friend Pancho told me all about you. About your many wives that you not divorced. And I see for myself it is true when I see this waitress right here and you talk with her. Oh, I think you are terrible. Amigos, you all know that Senor Blaine's barn is burned to the ground and he lose all his horses in the fire. And the same thing happened to Brown last night. Only this time there was murder too. Brown was found this morning with a knife in his back. The cattlemen have long resented my not joining forces with them, hombres. El Rio Ranch may be next. You will all take turns night guard and be ready to shoot quick with the pistolas. I'll stand the first guard tonight, Don Roberta. Kind of figure that job belongs to me. Senor Tex, you will let Montana take the first guard. I wish to talk with you tonight.
Reckon there's too many of them, Dynamite. The wolves raided your herd of shorthorns. There were too many for me, so I come for help. Get your horses, fellas. Fellas, fellas, Where's Montana? Wasn't he supposed to be standing guard? That's right. Where is Montana? John no sir. Does Steve tell you what happened? Yeah. And when he comes for help, we find the corral gate open and the horses gone. Maybe you can do a little explaining to us. Being as how you was so particular about standing guard tonight. Tex, what are you driving at? Use your own judgment. Senors, we have enough trouble here without fighting among ourselves. Have the vaqueros trail the horses. We will look for the cows tomorrow. Montana, have I not always been uh, your good compadre? Ponto, you're my best pal. And that's why you're going to do this little favor for me. Hmm. What? You wish to speak to someone, senor. Uh, well, we, uh, we were looking for you, miss. Uh, Poncho has something he wants to talk to you about. Uh, senorita, I think I make a big mistake when I told you about Senor Montana having six wives which he have not divorced. Uh, it was two. Or the fellows. What do I care about this Montana has six wives or kids? But Senorita, he, he loves you very much. I only told you about this love business because we both leave the rancho today, muy pronto. Why you quit the job, senor? <laughs> we never quit the job. We're fired. Fired? This what you call the deep chop? Steve thinks I'm responsible for the horses getting out of the crowd last night. Steve has no right to do this. I shall go and tell him. No, miss. I don't want you to do this. Padre, Steve has just discharged Montana and Pancho. I guess Steve thinks I'm responsible for leaving the crowd gate open last night. Senor, you are not discharged. I will tell my foreman personnel that I have hired you again. Thank you. Qué bueno. La señorita no se ve que trabaja. Steve. Tex, I want to talk to Steve alone. Steve, I have just hired two new riders. Who? Montana and his friend Pancho. Look here, boss. If I'm going to be foreman of this outfit... You I... will use your head. If this Montana hombre is responsible for what happened last night, the only way to find out is to keep him where you can watch him. I guess maybe you're right. Let him stand guard again tonight and keep the eye on him. Right. And to make sure there's no slip up, I'll watch him myself. I'll circle around him. If he's up to any funny tricks, I'll find out. Mr. Bueno, if anything has happened, you will fire two shots. The men are ready to ride.
What are you doing out here, Tex? Sort of looks like you might be aiming to ambush Montana. Being he's headed this way. By golly, this creased you, old dynamite. Dead. I would like to see his gun. Now we will have a look at your gun, senor. Tony, hey, take his gun. Bueno. One gun has been fired, senor. Sure, it's been fired. I caught a glimpse of the bird that ambushed Steve. I took a shot at him, but he got away. That is a very good story, my friend. We will hold this man at the rancho till the sheriff is come. One minute! Pancho, drop them guns or I'll plug you. Gracias, senor. Jose, you will take care of the body. Don't be long now, fellas. Don Rebert is just about leaving town with the sheriff. Oye, condenado, ven acá, voy a hacer tu precio de pink and soft. Oye, ven acá. Wait till I get out of here, I will attend to you personalmente. You si. <laughs> uh, Ríete, ríete. Uh, oye, ven acá, échame de aquí. <coughs> but I know he is innocent, Tony. We must help him to make the escape before my father returns. No, senorita, don't Robert take the scalp away from me if I do a thing like that.
por aquí. Come on, get up out of there. Come on. Senor Barnes must belong to the wolves. Looks like it. Barnes, you're taking us to where the wolves meet. And you're also going to do a little talking too, savvy? I know where that pass is located, senor. Good. You can lead us then. See. Si. Rosita, you take that note to your father and the sheriff, and tell them where we've gone. Sí, sí. Bueno, entonces, toma, toma la pistola, vamos. Gracias, señor. Amén, amén. Amén. Amén, amén. Amén, amén. Amén, amén. Amén, Tex Barnes, show yourself. Get up, come down, get up. Come on, get up out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Get up. Time up there, boys. Get that clicker off. Senor Montana has taken Pancho and Tony and start for the pack. Come on, boys, or we'll be too late. Listen, I'll take the guard place and shoot the night riders in one by one. The rest is up to you fellas. They will be welcome most royally, senor. Not one word. Quiet. Sorry? Who's there? Have a ladder. Go on in. Number nine. I'm the oil. You can pass. One at a time.
Nein! Seven! All right, number one. Number two. You can go in, but you'll have to wait a while. Montana. You? That's number one, the leader of the world. Senor Hopton! Well, I'll be dang. Ah, oh, you ain't got nothing on me. Barnes talk plenty riding out here, cash. Hopton gives all the homesteaders credit and then rustles their stock and burns them out after their land is proved up on. Why? When they leave, he gets their land as payment for his kindness. From now on, I think the wolves will be a little baby lambs, amigos, no? Senorita, don't forget what I told you about the two gone men making pretty nice husbands while they last. Senor, after Pancho Gonzalez, you are the worst lawbreaker in all the borderlands, no? No. Mm -hmm. 